Are you tired of having to always fill up your fill filter because your primer don't work? Well, I want to show you how to fix that problem. Hello, and welcome to my channel. In this video segment, I want to show you how to replace that old wore out primer pump. Now, really, honestly, it don't take no more than two minutes to replace a primer pump, but what I'm going to show you is going to be in more detail and it's going to just show you more items to look out for. And you may ask, how come he's doing that? And it don't take but a second, and you can do it with it on a vehicle, which you can. But I'm gonna show you another step because knowledge is power, and the more knowledge you have, the better off you are. If you're not a subscriber, just hit that button, become a subscriber right away. So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do, we need a three quarter wrench. And we're just gonna break loose this line here. Along with this one on this end. So next what we're gonna do, we still need our three quarter wrench and we're going to remove these two lines here from the top of the fill filter base. So what I'm gonna do is go over to the other side of the lift pump and just loosen up this line here. Cause this is one of the lines that actually goes to the top of the fill filter base. Just have it loose, just have some flexibility. Now we have our two lines loose above the fuel filter base. And next we're going to remove this bolt here. We need a 716 wrench. I have on the nut and we're going to use a ratchet. Then we're going to remove it from the engine oil dipstick. Just want to remove this bolt. And next we need a 10 millimeter socket. And what we're gonna do, we have two bolts that is actually holding on the base. There's one there and there's one on the other side. Well, that's one bolt. There we go. Let's pull this on out. I forgot about this line here. We're gonna have to remove that line. That line's coming straight from the fuel tank. So for this line here, we need a level 16. Just gonna put that on the male end. And we need a 13 16. Break it loose. There we go. There we go. Now, you don't necessarily have to actually remove this from the truck, disassemble it, but I choose to do so because I like to clean it up and I like to make sure that the seals here, I'm gonna put new seals on the lines to make sure that there's no air leakage or any kind of any kind of any kind of air issues or suction or I just want to eliminate any possibility of anything going wrong. So that's why I just remove it from the vehicle. And I like to clean it up, clean up the base. And I like to examine the base to make sure that there's no cracks. And hopefully you would never have to 
order one of these because they are on national back order. And it's a good time to go ahead and service your, uh, your strainer. All right, we got our all cleaned up. And we clean up our strainer. And you definitely wanna make sure you do that every time you change your fuel filter. Just wanna, matter of fact, I'm gonna leave that off for right now. And what I'm gonna do, this is our primer pump here. And I'm gonna put this in the vise. We need a 17 millimeter to break this loose. And keep in mind, this is aluminum, so just wanna make sure you be extra careful with this, not to crack it. Again, this is on national, this part is on national back order, so you do not wanna damage this housing. And here's our new pump. And here's the part number here, along with the price. So if you are uh, tired of your primer not working, this is the way to go. The guys, this is not necessary. I'm gonna take the, the new primer and I'm just gonna drop it in side of a, a little bucket with diesel fuel. And I'm just gonna pump it and get all the air out of it as much as possible. Just gonna pump it back and forth. And like I said, this is not necessary. It's just something that I do. And then I just go ahead and screw it on to the unit. And this is what I wanna check, just to make sure the seals are in good shape. And if they're not, make sure you replace them. Let's not forget to put our strainer back on. Now I have to say, it's a lot easier to go ahead and hook these lines back up before you mount back the, uh, the field filter housing. Tighten up our mount bolts. And we'll mount back our clamp for our dip stick. Well, we have all the mount bolts back in, all the fittings connected. Now we're gonna hook back up our line to the, from the housing to the lift pump. Well, now it's time for us to bleed. And we're gonna take a screwdriver and we have a screw right here, a bleeder screw. We're just gonna break that loose And we're going to pump our pump. There we go. And we just make sure we have no air. Make sure you have a drain bucket underneath. So no more 
had to fill up the filter prior to starting the vehicle. You can prime it if you choose to do so. All right. Well, that's all you have to do to replace your old wore out primer pump. So you know there are two ways to do it and you have the knowledge to do either way you choose to do so. I thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe. Again, I hope this video was helpful. Take care and God bless.